Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to show the home screen on the PlayStation 4 without starting a game or a capture card. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So when you're streaming from or trying to record something on your PlayStation 4, one thing you can't do is show the home screen or like going to the PlayStation 4 store or anything else on the PlayStation. So how do most people go ahead and show the home screen without a capture card? Now, this is very easy to do. Let's go over to my PC and open up a web browser. All right, so I'm on Google.com. You can also do this on a Android phone or an iPhone if you go ahead and just go to the Google Play Store and we're gonna go ahead and type in PlayStation remote play now if you're in Google Play go ahead and do this on your phone too let's go to the first link here all right now we're gonna scroll down so you have the option for Google Play or the Apple App Store and I'm gonna download the app for PC or Mac right here and now we're on the remote play download page for PC. And I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more. And the initial setup is where you'll actually find the download link. So it's a little bit more complicated on PC. So let's go ahead and download on Windows PC. It's going to download in the bottom left hand side of the corner. Now you'll need something where you can record your screen. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Google and I'm going to type in OBS, just like that, OBS. And the first thing that will pop up is OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Otherwise, if you scroll down, I use Streamlabs, which is very, very similar to OBS, but has overlays and other free stuff you can get that'll help out your stream a little bit. So let's go ahead and click on Streamlabs and hit download. So I have Streamlabs. This will help me record my screen on my computer and will help me record my PlayStation 4's home screen. So now let's go ahead and open up PS4 Remote Play. All right, so it's downloading and it is now showing up. Next, I'll want to go to settings and you'll want to sign in. And depending on how good your internet is, change your resolution a little bit lower or higher. Mine is just at 720p, which is standard. So sign in right here, go to OK, make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PlayStation 4, and make sure your PlayStation 4 is in rest mode or turned on. Once you have it in rest mode or turned on, go to start, and it should automatically detect it over the same network. So it has now been detected. And it may look a little bit weird when it's starting out at first, but once you move the controller around, uh, it will start looking a little bit better also you'll need to connect your playstation 4 controller directly to your pc okay so i have obs now downloaded go ahead and sign in with like your google account twitch etc then on the left hand side here i have a bunch of different scenes already created let's go to the plus icon right here and let's name this remote play scene and then go to done and now you can see under sources, everything is completely blank. We'll have to go to the plus icon right here. And you do have the option to window capture any specific window. Uh, if you want to like just capture that screen specifically. Otherwise, you can go to display capture. This will capture everything that's displaying on your screen. So I typically go to display capture for remote play just because it seems like it's very buggy with window capture and it doesn't always capture the window correctly. I have to go back and go to stress to screen. Uh, you can try window capture, but I'm going to use display capture right now. Then I'm going to go to add new source because this is the first time we're doing this. Go to add source, name it whatever you want. And you can see all the different displays on here. I have three different displays. And I'm going to capture display number three for me. And this one is a lower resolution than my other display. So that's why the box is so small. So I'm going to want to right click on it. Go to transform and go to stretch to screen. And it takes up the entire thing now. And you can see I have Minecraft in the background. The cursor. This is just remote play running. In the right hand side of remote play. I can go to maximize and it will make everything bigger. 
Now we'll want to add a microphone. So let's go to the plus icon again and then go to audio input capture. And this will be for microphones, USB microphones, other USB devices. Go to add source. All right. Then we're going to want to go to add new source instead. Name it whatever you want. And then go to device and go to your USB device. So whatever your microphone is called, mine is called the Blue Yeti microphone. Go ahead and go to that and go to done. All right, so I have my Blue Yeti in here and my display capture. What if you want to add a webcam? Adding a webcam would be easy. Go to the plus icon and go to video capture device. And this will be for your webcams and uh, your capture cards. You can go ahead and add them right here very easily. So that's the basics of adding stuff. So then I would have my webcam in here also. So I have my microphone and then I have my display capture for remote play. Then under mixer, you can see when I talk, it goes up and down. You want to put your microphone volume right about where it goes yellow. As you can see when I'm talking right about where I go yellow is where you want to keep it. So adjust this right here so it's not too low or it's not too high away in the red. So adjust it right about there. Desktop audio, you'll want to make sure it's unmuted. And desktop audio, you probably want maybe a third of the way up. Because a lot of the gunshot sounds in uh, Call of Duty are very loud. And they might hit the yellow. So you want to make sure that your desktop audio is quite a bit less loud than your microphone. Then when you're ready to record, hit the record button right at the bottom. So if this video helps you out record your home screen on your PlayStation 4 without starting a game, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.